personal journal of Euphemia McLaughlin, assistant engineer at Imperial Exploration Company. It's been five weeks since we have left the familiar walls of Birmingham behind. Weeks of uncertainty, of struggle, of hope. And finally, we have reached the shores. We had three deaths so far. Or, small price for progress, as I.E. Seed called it. I can only hope I am going to avoid their fate. They've claimed there was nothing to fear. That this whole journey of ours was just a precaution. But now, it feels like the weather is changing. And the winter, the winter seems inevitable. Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Frostpunk. Oh my goodness, it's so good to come back to this game. Long-standing members of the Geekism community will know that Frostpunk was my game of the year in 2018. I absolutely thought it was incredible. And uh, this week, I believe the 21st of January, sees the release of The Last Autumn. Thank you very much to the developers for getting me an early access copy of this so I can bring some footage to you. Um, if you don't know, Frostpunk is a um, city builder, settlement builder, I suppose, really, somewhere sort of sitting in between the two of them, I guess, uh, that is set in a uh, alternative timeline, a Victorian sort of steampunky uh, future where the whole world freezes over. Basically the exact opposite of what's happening in real life right now. <laughs> so in real life we're boiling alive. Uh, in this, the whole world freezes over. But this one, The Last Autumn, is actually a prequel to the original game. So here we're actually seeing what led up to the world freezing over. I'm really excited to see some of the story. Um, the whole game is set up about making difficult choices, making tough decisions, and it really is quite a tough game as well. It's one of the hardest games I've played in a long time. Uh, we cross the rough northern seas to reach site 113, where we are to build the greatest marvel of technology, a generator. Your crew, allured by the promise of a steady job and eager to leave the work, riots, and bread queues behind, somewhat taken aback at the size of the desolate landscape surrounding the site. They were told not to ask details, and there's no turning back now. There's no consensus why this contract was such high priority, considering the deteriorating situation of the Empire, but your superiors are clear this is the most important job of your life. So for me, that suggests that some people higher up know what's coming. People who are following the weather are seeing that the world is freezing. Now, the whole aim of this game... Uh, it's all built around these circular builds, okay? It's a really gorgeous art style. It's kind of weird to see grass, to be honest, because in the in the regular release, it's all snow. <laughs> uh, before you start building the generator, you have to set up a basic supply infrastructure. This means building the docks and gathering the resources piling up by them. You'll also need a raw food source, the fishing harbor, or a forager's camp can be set up. Okay, so yeah, a little bit different now. So in the... In the um, in the regular game, I'm just going to pause the game for a second. It's been a while since I've played it, so I'll, I'll have to kind of pay attention. But in the regular game, you're in a sort of crevice, and you can find sort of ruins and things to, to pick up stuff. So it's, but here, it's it's a bit more set up and running. So, so we've got some steel and wood and logs and things. Okay, so we can set workers to start collecting all of this. So I think that's probably a good way to start. So let's set uh, five on the wood there. And maybe five on the steel there. Start to clear this area out a little bit. Here we've got, uh, there are our stockpiles, that's fine. And there's three steam cores there. Okay, so we'll get um, five on there as well. And how many workers do we actually have? I probably should have checked that, shouldn't I? Where do, where's the number of workers around? Down here? Oh, not, oh, here we go. Yeah, we've got, oh, we've got loads. We've got, not, we've got, oh man, we've got loads in that case. We might as well. I was thinking the number was that that fifteen number was the amount we had, but no, we've got loads and loads. Okay, so let's get all of these collected up. 
and into our stockpile because this is going to be prime building space later on, I'm sure. If it's anything like the original game, you know, that's, uh, that's your prime building spot. So that's all of those. And I suppose coal as well. Can we get some workers? Oh, we've got nobody available. Everyone's out there working hard. Okay, or hardly working, I guess. So research and build the docks. Start gathering resources piled up by the docks. And build and activate the fishing harbour or set up a forager's camp. So we can't really do any of them yet. Uh, we will need um, a workshop. There we go. That's what's going to do the research. We can actually build that, actually. Let's get that down early then. Because... Um, too close to generator. All right, okay. Let's get that down early, because uh, because that's going to help us uh, research the thing we need. Okay. Let's uh, let's get everyone rocking then. Get them all figuring that out. Okay. So here we go. This is one of our first things that happen a lot. It will come up and somebody will say, "I need you to do this or this," and you have to pick. And it's always a difficult choice. Sir, so our employer, the Imperial Exploration Company have prepared the site for us. Besides digging the enormous shaft for the underground part of the generator, they left some construction materials behind to get us started. We should set up camp, clear the area around the shaft to make space for the construction facilities. I, I'm already on it, mate. Already on it. So what's that then? Construction site. The area around the generator shaft is a construction site with few exceptions. Only buildings from the generator tab can be placed here. That's fine. We've just figured that out, haven't we? So the main thing is as well is we've got absolutely nowhere for people to live so let's get some tents up these will um house 10 people i suppose we, we've got a bit of a run there almost so we just get some down there um let's uh let's add some road if we do some road down there because i don't necessarily think we have to worry about temperature so much this time so let's do uh, have we run out of woods there? Okay. So all of those will get fixed and built as soon as some wood comes in. Which is slowly getting all tuck into here, so that's fine. Is that done? Yeah. Let's get people in there and get them researching the, need, the things we need. Profiles manufacture, protective structures, machine shop, ventilation plants, resources, docks. There we go. Boom. Uh, there are no buildings available to research this technology. Huh? Huh? Workshop. There it is. Look. Oh, it needs a it needs a road to it. Look. Build the street out to there. There we go. What's going on here? As the first work day ends, people start gathering in small groups to chat or play cards. A couple of workers are throwing rocks down the huge central shaft. Deep, ain't it? And to think, we have to work down there. Out of boredom or maybe an exercise their fears, more workers join in. Soon rocks start raining down the hole. This might be dangerous, but the camp offers very little other entertainments. Stop them. Now... That has raised our discontent. These are the two modifiers to say whether or not people will go ahead and work discontent. And their motivation, that was hope in the original game. So I imagine it works similarly. Uh, current effects and efficiency zero. So if it goes lower than this, I imagine we lose efficiency. If it goes higher than this, I imagine we gain efficiency. So uh, let's have a look here. Are our um, things are getting built here yet? Yeah. Inoperative because of the path. Well, so build the path then. Build the road. Why are you not? It's, it it kind of worries me that it's just continuing to grow. That's... Oh, uh, I've just figured it out. Is it because we need it needs to join... I think perhaps all streets must uh, must lead on, you know? There we go. So now there are only 40 people homeless, but we have wood for more. So let's do another. And I'm just, I, I know we only need nine of these, but I'm going to build a, a tenth because why wouldn't you? And then here in the morning, they will now start working on the docks. There we go. Okay. So they're in free time, unfortunately. So 40 people are going to go, are going to get pretty cold tonight, unfortunately. Here we go. Two of the homeless people fell ill. Yeah, 
I'm assuming this is going to tell me. So a few of our people got a cold from sleeping on the ground. We should provide them with some kind of accommodation, if only because this might impact our efficiency in the long run. Yes, I will provide shelter for everyone. So that will be timed. But that's fine. We've got time left, one day, 24 hours. Basically, when they wake up in a moment, is it seven they start work? S later than seven, shelter promise fulfilled. There we go. They've already built them. Nice work time. There we go. Oh, that's right. They build outside of work time, don't they? So now everyone's got a house and we've now got that fulfillment and that's probably helped with something here. There you go. Promise fulfilled. Two people are sick. So let's have a look. Do we have a medical post? We do. We just don't have the wood to build it yet, but I would like one of those. What's going on over here? An engineer complains to you. Sir, it seems I've been mistakenly logged in a tent full of workers. Now you see, I don't have anything against workers, but they're quite loud and, well, they sort of smell. Um, could you make sure I get moved to an engineer's tent? Uh, uh, no. Make do. Miserable lot. Steam cores depleted. What have we used steam cores for? Excuse me, cat. I have a cat jumped up on my desk one moment. Thank you. There we go. So, how's the research going? About halfway done. That's fine. In the meantime, let's get a medic post set up and running. In fact, actually, cancel that. Let's build it over here where it's probably going to be a bit more use. There we go. Building streets. Yeah, they come running over, look to do what they need to do. There we go. Docks have researched. Fantastic. That's getting built. Nicely done. Uh, so, docks. Let's have a look at that then. Resources. Basic docks. Ships bringing basic materials from local sources are unloaded here. Nice. So where can we put them? Oh, they go here or here. Oh, okay. Um, that looks good. To start off with. We need some... There we go. Workers there in the medical post. And now nobody else is ill. That's good. So, inoperative. That's because we need staff. There we go. Close the time of day. That's fine. So what do we want? Basic docks will produce coal. Basic docks will produce wood. Basic docks will produce steel. I'm going to say wood is kind of key at the moment. So I guess we can have more than them and have them all producing one, right? But until then, let's have a look at some research. Faster gathering, sawmill, uh, foragers' quarters. We do need some food. Send foragers out into the wilderness. Generator construction, profiles and manufacture. Allows us to build a profile manufacture and uh, produce structurally profiles required to build the generator. So that's going to be needed, but they haven't necessarily asked for that yet, have they? Fishing harbour. Is what they want. Where would that be? Food? Cookhouse. See, we haven't actually got the ability to build a fishing harbour yet, unless it's under research, is it? Food and health? Forager carts, fishing harbour. There we go. More foragers, forager cart. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll have to start that one then. Because we've got the docks, but so far, that's not bringing anything in because it's night time. Reality check. As the camp wakes up under dark rain clothes, the mood amongst our people turns gloomy. Nobody told us we'll be sent to the end of nowhere. There's nothing for us to do here but work. And they are going to stay a while in this remote, cold, miserable place. If you don't keep motivation up, the efficiency will suffer. Motivation will fall each morning. We'll see what we can do. Not now. Consider signing a law raising motivation. That sounds like a good idea. So here are your laws then. In the original game, this is split into two parts, law or... Uh, it was law or religion. It looks a little bit different here, the administration book of laws. So we need something here that will raise motivation. Uh, bathhouse. People living near a working bathhouse are less likely to fall ill and motivation will raise. We could say hearty meals. Eating hearty meals will increase motivation every day. We could have a pub. Motivation will rise slightly. You will have to build a public house. I'm going to say, let's keep it simple and get a pub on the go. Eh? Rules and regulations have changed and they have changed for the better because now we can build a pub for the people. Let's build it right there so it's close to those workers. And let's get a path into it. There we go. Ten people building that. Look at the straight on it. Don't need to be told twice, do they? 
Get that pub up and running. Work is not going to wait, you're right. Why are people not working? This is telling us that people aren't working. Is it because they're building that? Now that we've built the basic resource infrastructure, we can set about bringing more people and steam cores from England. To do this, we have to build a telegraph station. Okay. So start gathering stockpiles. Is that Are they turning up here, are they? Or... 16 hours before anything happens there. That's fine. It's these, really, we need clearing. There's only 16 steel left there, but there's only 93% efficiency for some reason. We can now uh, set five workers there. Public house is built and motivation rises a bit and discontent goes down as well. Nice. All right, that was a good one. These people seem happy. So start gathering resources. I imagine... Oh, here's a boat. Here's a boat. Ah, okay. And here is a wood pile. So let's... Uh, no employees available. I'm hoping some will come up. These have got to be nearly cleared out now, right? Steel. Forager's quarters research. Nice. Um, ten. So I'll tell you what then. Let's have a look at this. What's that going to cost us? 50 wood to do that one. Uh, that one's going to cost us 10 wood. Uh, resources, docks we've got, faster gathering might be good, so that's 10 woods, yeah, okay, we'll go for that. Get some faster gathering going, wow, there's like a, like a Tesla coil on the back of this thing, it's pretty insane. And then they've dropped off 80 wood, okay, that's good, that's how we're going to get our resources this time, we're going to be bringing them in from a boat. Yeah, these would be, if these were empty, this, this would be great. There's 8 steel, a bit of wood there, a bit of wood there. Bit of wood there. We need those cleared, don't we? So we're going to run the game until they've done just that. Okay, everything's depleted from there now, then, which means we've got a lot of workers to play with. Let's get some research on the go. I think we're going to go for the drawing boards because the only other one here is sawmill, which we're not particularly desperate for. Actually, well, no, we'll do that one. There we go. We'll get working on that. Uh, so build and activate fishing harbour or a foragers uh, thingy. So let's do foragers quarters. It allows us to send foragers to search the wilderness for supplies and set up foragers camps delivering raw food to the camp. There can only be one. So these could be right up out of the way as far as I'm concerned. If it fits there, that's uh, that's kind of perfect for me. Because you want them out, out, out towards the top where they're going to find stuff right oh yeah coal go on then we've got people who can work these now so let's fill them up they can start bringing in some coal i eventually imagine that we're going to be able to build an actual coal mine uh resources that would be let's have a look sawmill saw coal kiln oh that's charcoal that one that's making it out of wood um gathering reload steam reloading upgraded docks faster reload mm, i can't actually see uh, mines then okay maybe not maybe that's just loose loose coal that's going to get collected there but there's people on it and we've got a forager station that we can send out for food we've got quite a bit of food though raw foods no cooked food though i'll tell you what then let's have a look at building a cookhouse um put that over there cookhouse it's going to help us produce uh, cooked food that is better for morale. It, it lasts a bit longer, I think, as well. So we need to create 20 wood, 10 steel, and 15 workers to create a team of foragers. I say let's go for it. Boom. Ah, okay. So these work a little bit like our, um, our scouts in the last one. So here, then, we're going to send people out to find stuff. Now, in the original game, you're sending them out for steam cores, wood, steel. It looks like here, this is where we're going to be generating our food from. Reindeer tracks. Numerous reindeer tracks lead towards a dark point in the horizon. Go. Let's go get ourselves some reindeer meat. Ven is venison, I suppose that would be, kind of. Uh, I'm not sure. Is venison? Is reindeer meat class as venison? It's deer, right? It's very deer. 80 quid. Ha ha. Um, that's all done. I mean, I'm tempted to, while we don't necessarily uh, are being told to move on, I'm tempted to go for the sawmill just because it's cheap. Um... And then we can look at the next level up. So are we short on people here waiting for workers? We've got five idle workers. Come on then. Let's get this built, please. Don't stow your tools. Get building. Right. 
There we go. That's an error. Boom. That's got nice and done. And we can have five workers in there. Standard meal. Cookhouse will produce four food rations from two raw food. Now then, where's our book of laws? Administration. We can come in here. So the the public house has opened us a um, uh, the ability to have hookers or bare knuckle fights. Now, do they happen in the bar or are they going to be a separate building? If I remember rightly, actually, they were a separate building. Which is discontent. I'm thinking if we come to here, look, we can have gruel. Motivation discontent will fall, but eating gruel will cause discontent. But I imagine it's cheap. Or we can have hearty meals. Eating hearty meals will increase motivation every day. I'm going to say, let's go for hearty meals. And we can now click hearty meal there. I know boss has pleased with people. That's going to push our uh, people are hungry. They really shouldn't be, but I suppose now they're going to we're going to get cooked food now. I don't. I guess they can't eat raw food. I guess that's what that's telling us. My worry is that that we're not going to have enough coming in. We can't set this to be food, can we? Coal, coal, steel, or wood. We've got more than enough coal. We've got like 5,000 coal up there. Wood was still pretty low on. But this is full of people now, right? And there's 278 of the stuff sat there. Okay. Now, our, in the original game, there was a there was like a building that you could set that you would, would forage from. Uh, or gather from, sorry. Resource depot. Is it that one? Extends our storage capacity for a chosen resource. No, gathering post. There we go. People working here gather resources from nearby thingies. That, it's that one there. And they would and they would collect it much, much quicker. So, if we put you there, and um, and get it built, 75 people hungry. Well, they're going to start making food rations now, so that will that'll go down. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take all the people off there and put them onto here, and they will gather wood. And I think it's they work the same amount of efficiency, but there's only 10 people needed and not 15. All right. Use 50 wood there, because I don't think we're going to be building much else. Oh, there we go. Coal is coming in there thick and fast from the coal mines. That's good. So I'm tempted to put one of them, one of those over here as well then. Once we've got some wood. Why is nobody... Hello. Hello. That was quick. Sorry. Why is nobody collecting wood? Is it just because it's the end of the day? Just seems to not be much wood coming to the, in that day. But nobody's hungry now. We've got food rations have gone up. Oh, they're waiting for us. There we go. Let's have a look. Partially eaten reindeer carcass lies in the circle of trampled bloodstained earth. But the tracks lead further. Let's move on. We've had a partially eaten right. Okay, hunting grounds or nesting place. A nesting place, dozens of birds circle over solitary rock. Reindeer tracks lead towards a wide stream glinting in the sun. Let's go there then. Hunting grounds. Okay. It's uh, the middle of the night. So we're going to move forward. But motivation just sort of drops overnight, unfortunately. Look, daily loss noticeable. Public house. Unpopular decision. What did I do? It's hanging around, whatever it is. Here we go. Everyone's coming back to work. That's good. Can we get some people, actually? So, yeah, these ones are the ones we want. Drawing board research. No, that's good. Here we go. They're going to go and collect the wood from there. Take it back to there. Good. 32, 33. Nice. That's what we want. Lots of wood coming in. You are awaiting uh, raw meat, I suppose. Foragers have reached the hunting grounds. Okay, let's see. Explore. The gentle banks of this swiftly flowing stream form a convenient watering place. We could set up camp here for some time to hunt animals coming for water. We can set up camp here to supply raw food to the construction site. That sounds good to me. A watering place visited by many animals. We could set up things. The camp will deliver 80 raw food every day. In total, 400 raw food over the next five days. Boom. Go for it. So they'll go back and forth. And then we've got to have to go on and find another, I suppose. 
Can we set up another team? No. So that, but that's where the raw food's coming from. Each day they will come in and build us some raw food. So we've now unlocked our second level of research. So we can do protective structures, machine shop, ventilation plants. Food-wise, we can have more foragers, forager carts. That makes it quicker, if I remember rightly. Light design foragers will move 50% faster. That could be useful. Or fishing harbor. Actually, I'm thinking that one as well. The fishermen set out from here to catch fish in the cold, cold sea. Yeah, I'm going to go for fishing harbor. Because I imagine that's probably going to be a little easier than having people having to come back and forward from the map. So do we have now something to build on um, the generator? Profile, here we go. So we can build you. Kind of don't want to build you by, right by the houses. Let's put you there. See if that's any good. And also, the telegraph station is an important one that needs to go somewhere. But again, pretty sure it can go out of the way. Oh, I like the fact that it can go right down here. Look at that. Maybe not quite that far, because I don't like the idea of it. Well, it's going to destroy some trees, but I can live with that. Uh, we don't have the wood. All right, well, don't worry about it. Get everything else built instead. Shifts over. Get stuff built, please. The good thing is they will build out of their shift. There we go. Twenty. That needs 20 workers. Wow, okay. I think we need to start bringing in some workers on here. I'm not too sure how we do that. Workers. Is that it? No, they're the people who are working here. Hmm. Maybe they'll come in. Maybe they'll come in later, so we should have enough, uh... Oh no, we've only got five wood, okay. We can go to there. Okay. We're out of wood, so I see! So I see, but tomorrow morning is a new day. Um, What's this going to be doing? Profiles manufacturable produce one structural profile from 25 wood. I'm going to leave that because it's not actually telling me I need that yet. I'm, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, I think. Um, fishing harbour research. Nice. Let's get this road filled in because that is something we need. And then the fishing harbour, I think, we'll put down as well. What do we need? 40 wood, 10 steel. Yeah, it's the wood. We're full on coal now. That's good. Ah, in that case, come off here then. None. Let's uh, free up some workers for things. Uh, I'm not going to put you there just yet. I'm probably going to put you in fishing when that's built. Fishing harbour. So we can use... I'm going to put you there. I'm going to put you there because I'm going to... I think I'll use these three as the docks for, for raw resources. Do I not have to get a road to you? I might not have to get a road to you. So, what's this then? The line is open. Good work on setting up the construction camp. Now that we have a line of communication, we can use it to request resources. We will provide what we can, but you're aware that your camp is not the only project we supply. There are two other construction sites in your area. Together, these three generators will secure shelter for the inhabitants of Liverpool, should the worst happen. Their fate is in your hands. Do not let them down. We shall succeed. So, we can now do what? Fishing harbour. Yeah, that's fine. So now can we do it from here, can we? Or, or, or is it from here? Ah, right. Okay, shipment details. Cost 2. Logistical limits, 63. This limit will uh, rise over time. It reflects the current logistical means assigned to this generator construction site order shipments. Right, right, right. I see, I see. So, okay, so that's 32 of them. So they class as two each, and they class as about 10 each. Cost two, cost four, right, okay. So they're just regular workers. They are engineers. Okay, we need 20 people working on that one. So, let's go for 10. And the rest is people. Now, it did tell us we've got... No, we've got three steam cores. Okay, I'm going to order that shipment. 
Generate infrastructure. Now that you have basic infrastructure, it's time to start with the construction of the generator. Build a profiles manufacturer, then produce eight structural profiles. That will allow you to set up the shaft structure. Okay, well, we have the profiles manufacturer. Here it is. Um, and it wants us to build eight structural profiles, which we cannot because we have no... Oh, there we go. There's as many folks. Production queue is empty. I know. It's closed this time of day is why. Come on then, speed through. Oh, it's the middle of the night, look. Nobody's nobody's interested. That is getting built. That's good. Definitely want to do that because these guys still haven't come back with their 80 meat yet. Look, it's it's coming slowly, but it ain't great that. Now we have no people for that. I'm assuming these haven't showed up yet. Or did they? Did they do oh, no no 90 lock we're still we're waiting for the I'm assuming the next boat they come on the next boat. Cause we'll need some houses for them as well, won't we? Yeah, lots to do, but wow, I'm so happy to be back in Frostbung. And doesn't it just look gorgeous? There's the boat. There's the boat, hunting grounds. It's just such a pretty game. But like sort of sad pretty you know, like it's sort of solemn. It really is. Awesome. I can't wait for number two. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next one, be good.